Wild comes to us from the director of Dallas Buyers Club and stars Reese Witherspoon as Cheryl Strayed, the true story of a woman who decided to take a thousand mile hike to get over some serious tragedies that recently occurred in her life as a way to cleanse herself and hopefully survive. Now I really like Dallas Buyers Club. I thought it was a very different movie, a movie that approached storytelling in a strange way and I really liked the way they handled it and so I was excited to see the way he handled Wild. And Reese Witherspoon's been an actress that I've liked for a long time. I think she's beautiful, I think she's funny, she's very talented and in this movie she gives one of the best performances she's given in her entire career. And this movie faces a lot of challenges. For one, it's a movie about someone hiking. It's really tough to make that interesting for two hours and I think they mostly pull it off. From what I've heard it's very true to the book, which is awesome for people who are fans of the book, but the way the movie tells its story is that you're just in the hike instantly, like right from the beginning, she's already in it. And as she encounters various things on the way, they remind her of her past, and that's when we see flashbacks and we learn why she is the way she is and why she's doing what she's doing. I like that from a filmmaking perspective, you're able to learn things about a character as the film goes along, and it's different that way, very non-linear. But it did take a while for me to understand why she is doing some of the things she's doing, because they hide a lot of that for a long time, which I understand because you want to keep some secrets about the character, you want her to be intriguing, but there are times where I just didn't feel the significance of her journey because the film wasn't showing us why it was so significant to her. One of the things I loved about Reese Witherspoon's performance is that it's totally unglamorous. There's nothing about this role that's like, look at me, I'm beautiful and lovely. It's like, I'm sweaty, I'm dirty, my toenails are falling off, and her character is just like, screw you, just shut up, I want to climb this hill, just leave me alone, just, just let me go about my day. And that's one of the things that I loved about her character. She was intriguing, but also a really likable character because she just felt like a normal person. I do have some issues with the movie though, and a lot of them are just storytelling based. Like I said, it takes a while for you to understand the significance of what she's doing. Now that I've seen the movie and I've done research on the actual woman, I know that it was very significant to her, but while you're watching the movie from a storytelling perspective, it does take a while for you to understand why it is so important to her what she's doing. So from a directing and a screenwriting standpoint, I feel like that's not really the wisest choice to hide that much about your character. When your character is doing something that seems sort of illogical, it's hard to really relate to said character when you don't really know why they're doing it. And the film is very frank about her life for that first half and then let you in on some of the mistakes that she's made. But once you eventually do figure out what she's been going through in her life and how tough it's been for her, you start to understand a lot more about her character. And by the end of the film, you really care for her and you want her to succeed. It's just that for the first half of the movie, the way they decided to tell the story, made you not even really care that much about her until you realize just everything she's been through. So pros about Wild, the cinematography, Reese Witherspoon's performance, you really do care about her character once you figure things out, but the con is that you don't at first because you're like, why are you doing this? You don't know why she's doing it and it's not as intriguing as it should be. And for that first half of the movie, it just lets you in on every mistake that she's made in the past few years and it makes her look kind of awful. But it does pick up and you do start to care. The performance is great. The cinematography is really good. And it's interesting in a different movie and I like watching a person just being a person. And that's pretty cool to see in Wild. So I'm gonna give Wild a B minus. I do think it is a little overhyped and that it could be a little bit better than it was. I don't think it's nearly as good as Dallas Buyers Club, but I do think it's worth seeing, just maybe not at full price. Guys, if you have seen Wild or if you read the book, let me know what you think below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you did like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>